In this election year, many of you are being bombarded with campaign ads from TV to the Internet, even cell phones. But a South St. Louis man claims a line has been crossed. News Force Kim St. Ange is live tonight with this story. Kim? Well, take a look at this. This is actually the sign Chris Caldwell found in his yard when he got home from work last night. He believes a campaign staffer for Michelle Sherrod, who's running for Missouri State Senate, put it there. Well, here's the thing. He says no one got his permission before putting it in his yard and feels that has really crossed a line. Elizabeth understands what I strongly believe, that a strong, growing economy begins with a strong and thriving middle class. Campaign ads are hard to avoid these days. The forgotten men and women of our country will be forgotten no longer. The time for empty talk is over. For Chris Caldwell. We get inundated with this stuff nonstop, all over. It's one thing to see ads on TV, social media, or his phone, but now. I come home and I see Michelle Sherrod in my front yard. He can't avoid it. And I'm like, well, I didn't authorize that. He says the Election Ethics Commission just told him to call Michelle Sherrod's campaign. He tried. No luck. This is littering in my yard for no reason. We couldn't get a hold of her either. I just took it right off and went out. <laughs> News 4 has learned St. Louis City and the county regulate when political signs can be in yards. St. Louis City only allows campaign signs to be in yards 60 days prior to the primary and must be removed 30 days after the general election. With Missouri's primary not until August, this sign would violate that. St. Louis County requires political signs be taken down within seven days after the election. In Caldwell's case, he says had Sherrod or her campaign staff or just come to his door and talk to him, things could have ended differently. I would ask her what her views are and probably would have heard her out. And if I supported him, I probably would have put her sign in my yard. No problem. If you're like me, you're getting several texts a day from campaigns saying, hey, do you support our candidate? It can be pretty irritating. As far as whether that's legal, it's kind of a gray area when it comes to the Federal Trade Commission. Unfortunately, there's really not much you can do in this case. Even putting your name on that do not call registry will not necessarily work when it comes to these political campaign texts. So really, it's just best to reply stop whenever you get one of them. Live tonight in St. Louis, Kim St. Ange, News 4.